Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another Shining Fates opening. Currently we have 50 booster packs. They came out of ETBs, uh, mini pins, uh, what else we had? We had those V-tins and also the Crobat VMAX boxes. Well, Crobat and the Dragapult one, one of each. So we got various different packs from various different products. I mean, the pull rates could be anything. With subsets, pull rates usually tend to be anything. There is no, they all are like promo products. There is no booster box for the set. So there's no like uh, pull rate. With a booster box, you have the average pull rate. You have the minimum pull rates with, with tins, boxes, ETBs, etc., etc. There is no pull rate. There's no guarantee of anything. So it is totally random. Uh, and it's even more totally random mixing them all together so yeah 50 booster packs i had like a couple left over but i wanted to make a nice round number of 50 what we're going to do is go straight to the rare with what we do with these larger openings we're going to see what we can pull but straight away unfortunately nothing then yeah you can have all the code cards guys so make sure to like and subscribe for the code cards etc and if you like these fast openings i uh, just missed the bin oh let's get that in the bin let's open this wide and then we go oh just sidui hollow we got a little boom in reverse, but uh, yeah, not in hollow form. So hollow's not too much in this set. Since a lot of people are opening them, a lot of people are getting them. Just a lot of people just want to get rid of them. Not too much value, but Sizzlipede, hollow shiny, first hit of the day. We also have a non-hollow Celebi there, but again, I'll <laughs> just say non-hollow. A lot of people just have a ton of these. The baby shiny, since there's so many of them to collect, I'll say, I don't even know how many hollow shinies are there, like a hundred hollow shinies? So baby shinies, hollow shinies, whatever. It's about 100 of them. So they are they're fairly holding their value because you can even open a thousand booster packs and not complete the baby shiny set. But we got full art, our creamy, the only regular full art you can pull in this set uh, for Pokemon full art anyways. Obviously there's a few trainer full arts you can pull, but um, yeah, we'll take that. Our creamy full art, hopefully, maybe we can pull a Charizard. If you don't know, we've pulled 10 Charizards in total now. Uh, currently is July 1st. So July, no, July, actually July 3rd, it just hit midnight right now. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's birthday, how did I even forget the date? But boom, let's go. Okay, Crobat V. So currently recording this one, I might upload this one on um, today, just like uh, my girlfriend's birthday special. So everyone wish Marie happy birthday in the comments and I'll get her to check the comments. So I might actually upload this one. So I'm gonna do a double upload because I didn't actually manage to upload a video yesterday. And you guys know uh, I upload twice a week. So hopefully her birthday luck, we get some good luck and just another regular we got greed in here so yeah we'll do this 50 pack opening we did a 100 pack opening the other day also but um yeah we pulled a lot of good things there i'm not going to spoil it but so far on the channel you know we've pulled 10 charizards uh last one was from the mini tins that we uploaded on the channel uh, that was a fairly recent video that video was recorded about two weeks ago from now so still very very recent obviously we have tons of videos of shining fates from february and march that we still haven't uploaded yet when this set came out and oh, i think i see something there Come on, what is it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, we'll take that. Eternatus VMAX. Let's go. Wow, don't pull the black and gold cards that often nowadays. So, first full art SV card and it's a black and gold one. So, we'll take that. So, first row, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Only one holo shiny, though. All right, got oh, Q font holo shiny with the Rillaboom holo. There we go, code card there. And yeah, I love it when we just get a load of Shining Fates. It's a fun set to open. When you open a main set like Chilling Rain, you're not going to get this many pulls this back to back. Like main uh, subsets, Hidden Fates, Shining Fates. Obviously, Hidden Fates is pretty. You can't really get that one at retail unless you're on our Discord, of course. But, ooh, Toxel. Well, Shining Fates, widely available. You can Google Shining Fates and then go and Google Shop and you find like 10 retailers with this. Well, plus, there's like every retailer right now has Shining Fates available at retail. So there's no way that you can miss out on this set anymore. So we've got Toxel Shiny here. So it's a great set. You don't want to sleep on it. Once it's gone, once they stop printing, obviously, this might be one of the last waves now. Because when obviously they had shipment delay issues and now they fixed that. Everyone's got all the stock they ordered. And yeah, that's why there's so much Shining Fates about. And if you didn't get it before, you can get it now. And there should be no excuses now to not being able to copy it. Unless obviously you might not be able to afford it. There are people like that. Well, there's mini tins out there. There's other stuff there. If you're going to save up for a product, if you're going to buy like one product at the end of the month, if you're saving up, etc. I'd say Shining Fates. Unless you can get Hidden Fates because Hidden Fates is the best modern set. That or you wait and save up for the 25th anniversary or... Uh, uh, Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies. Okay, we've got Riddle Beam Hollow there. Evolving Skies will be a nice set to open, but being a main set, the pull rates will be a bit tougher than the subsets. Um, and yeah, 
25th anniversary so, uh, Pokemon celebrations, which should be re releasing end of the year. Sounds very, very good indeed. But yeah, so far nothing crazy here. What we got here? Oh, double whammy. We've got Toxel with the Indeedee V. So double whammy there. I'm hoping we can pull a Charizard. That'd be insane if we can, but boom, let's go. We've got Toxel, uh, Toxtricity there and an Indeedee V here. So boom, let's go. Like I said, these came from various different products, various different print runs, you could say. Oh, I almost didn't see that one reboot. I wonder how many Hollow Shinies I've pulled and then actually not seen them if I do a fast opening. Sometimes I do that, but reboot's a good one. That one's like a £10 card. That one, I feel like, for people, it's hard to pull. When it's like a £10 Hollow Shiny, like you see Glider in Rapidash, Ponyta, Reboot, Tawaki. Uh, I think Rillaboom is pretty cheap for the Hollow Shiny, the full art. But some of them, like, there's a lot of £10 Hollow Shinies, which is worth more than most of the full arts. So yeah, keep an eye out on the Hollow Shinies. Don't sleep on them, but... Oh, Score Bunny, bro, we did it again. Last time we got Score Bunny, then Reboot. Now we've got uh, Reboot, then Score Bunny. Will we get the Cinderace? But I do like the shiny Score Bunny. A little tan effect, like it's been tanned in this tanning bed or whatever. It's pretty cool. Anyways, but come on. Okay, Tyvel there. Quite a few hollows in this opening. I remember our 100 pack opening, we didn't even have that many holo rares, so a lot of holo rares in this one today. Alright, Apple in here, not a bad one. This one's like the one of the 5 to 10 pound ones, not too bad. A lot of them are like over 5 pounds for a holo shiny, which is worth more than some of the full art shinies. We pull that toxicity, that might be worth like the full art one, that might be worth like a 3 4 quid. So it's crazy to see some of the holo shinies worth more than the full arts right now. But I guess, like I said, there's about 90 Hollow Shinies to collect, whereas there's only about 10, 15, 20 Full Art SV Shinies to pull uh, and collect. So it's easier to collect the Full Arts than the, the Hollows. But, alright, row number three now. So we've done, um, ooh, code card facing the wrong way. Uh, we've done 20 packs now onto row three, meaning another 10 packs. So double there, so you can also get double in Full Art form. Um, boom, let's go, come on. Hopefully another... Full Art Shiny eventually, guys, because we're not many. Okay, for Lynx, okay, double whammy with the Crobat as well. Not too bad, guys. So, yeah, let's go. But, yeah, make sure to wish Marie happy birthday in the comments, because then uh, I'll get her to check it out and say, oh, birthday present for you. Uh, but, yeah, let's go. Double whammy there. All right, we've got Colossal here. Because I always do on my birthday, well, my first birthday special on this channel. Um, I did like a birthday special opening. A lot of you wished me and I really appreciate it. I didn't ask you guys to wish me. I just said it was a birthday special opening and you guys wished me. So do appreciate that. So yeah, I thought maybe do it for Marie as well. Because this is probably one of the only social medias that I post frequently on. Apart from my Instagram. Because obviously we open Pokemon cards every single day nearly. We have over 500 videos in the hard drive to upload and edit. So we've got content for days for you guys, so that's why I'm only posting so much because uh, even if I upload every day this year, I still wouldn't be able to get through all my videos. I might start double uploading some days, put like a quick short videos because I have some like four or five minute videos and then put a longer video afterwards in the day. We did that in, in end of 2020, so I might do that again. Just the time to edit. Editing takes most of the time. Recording, I'm recording some opening in many ways, but then you got to times that by two because I got to watch the whole video again and edit it and then plus add some little noises, cuts, etc. In case like I sneeze or something, I'll cut that out. But Crobat, this row has been a little stinky, right? So yeah, this little stinky row. Just Vs. I'm, no full art shinies. Hardly any full art shinies. So hopefully we can see some in a bit. But oh, again, Cinderace V. Okay, we haven't pulled that one today. So not too bad. And last one for row number three. Oh, ho, 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 ho. black and gold Eternatus V. So we got the V Max and then the V. So we got both of them in just 50 packs. Pretty cool. Some people say the pull rates are hard, but maybe we've got the batch where they are printed in. But I always have that batch theory. I don't want to waffle on about it because I'm probably just waffling rubbish. Because obviously I have no clue how the production works. But Zigzagoon here, Glaring Zigzagoon. Um, okay, we've got a bulk pile is falling now. So we'll get that patterned in a bit and sort that out. So boom, let me actually move that now. But we're starting on row number four anyways. All right, lay that nicely on the floor just so... You can see some of the hits in the back. Obviously, it's out of focus. We put the focus point here. And so, just this is your main focus. But, boom! A Rillaboom. And I actually want a Rillaboom. I've opened thousands and thousands of packs. 
However, I won't be keeping this one because as you can see the left to right centering isn't great and it's crazy This card's like sub 10 and this is like my second favorite card from the set Rillaboom obviously my favorite starter from the sword and shield and shiny form is pretty cool as well uh, But you can see this compared to this border here. You can see the left to right centering is a bit off Maybe top to bottom, maybe a little bit tad, maybe not, probably just left to right. But uh, so if you love this card, definitely go buy it if you can't pull it or not opening too much Shining Fates right now. Because it's very cheap at the moment, so I'd recommend doing so. Because I'm still opening Shining Fates like 3rd of July today and I'm still opening Shining Fates till this day. I've opened 100 a few days ago. I think on Tuesday I opened 100 packs. So I'm always opening this set, so I'm no rush to buy any singles because I will pull it eventually. But yeah, this one. I want to have three of these. I've got 10 Charizards. This one I want to max it at three, but I want to make sure if I'm keeping three, they have to be the best centering possible. So I do like that one. However, not a good centering. However, pulling another SV Full Art, can't complain. And can we get another one? Ooh, Falapo. I haven't seen this one in a while, but code card there. We'll put that in the rubbish pile. Falapo there. I only see this one, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's go. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, full copper jar. And then we've also got a hollow rare. So, boom, frost moth hollow. I messed up my hollow pile here. So, let me sort that out. So, yeah, I was saying like I have 500 plus videos. That's why I kind of changed my mats eventually. But yeah, you can see we've got the new mat. So, anything with this map is recorded June or after, late June and after. So, this is a 2016 uh, Championships League like tournament thingy mat. It's a staff version, it's got a staff stamp on the mat as well. Paid quite a bit, paid 50 quid for it, which on eBay they're like 100 pounds. So I managed to find a, a retailer or a card store that was selling it for 50. And I thought, let me jump on it because very hard to find, especially the staff variation of it. So it's a pretty cool mat. You got obviously Cherizard, Raichu, Venusaur, Blastoise there, and Pikachu there. So the Kanto starters, the Pikachu, Raichu, the classics on this one. So 2016, I think it's probably to commem commemorate or go with um, Evo, but yeah, I need to be careful with it because I've got vape juice on it, on that side anyways, but uh, let's ignore that, but yeah, boom. All right, so we got double whammy, very good double whammy. You've got center scorcher, it's crazy now that these cards, like a full art shiny like this, is only worth like three, four quid. That's crazy, it's too much supply on the market, but then again, if you want to collect, you want to complete this set, if you do, it's the perfect time to buy singles, I guess, so. Uh, if, now, I guess in that standpoint, obviously you probably can hold out a couple months. I don't know. I don't know when the Shining Fates stock will start drying up. We had it with Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates was in the stores for the longest times in 2019 and 2020. And as soon as it dried up from stores, they didn't really reprint it until end of 2020. So honestly, guys, if you can find Shining Fates and you like the set, buy it while you can if you can't afford it or you, unless you're saving for any other sets or anything else like anything that's not pokemon maybe save it for a car or a house obviously don't splash out on pokemon if you need the necessities first but if you can and want to open a good set like you want to buy some booster packs tomorrow and there's probably going to be some shining fates in that store or wherever you're going to buy it from so i'd say recommend buying some shining fates but this is you here let's go but wow, not too many full art shinies. To be honest, row four did have two full art shinies, which is pretty good. And ooh, glaring obstagoon. So let's go. All right, so glaring obstagoon here. And yeah, 40 packs done. Come on, last 10 now, and my hopes are not crazily up right now. So I'm hoping we can pull the Charizard. Obviously, the Charizard's pretty much all I need. I've got everything else that I want. I wouldn't mind doubling up or tripling up on Sweet Coons, but <laughs> Hey, double whammy to start that off. Wow, let's put that there. So we got double to start off. This is like a three, four pound card as well. It's crazy. If you like double, definitely get that. And then you got Pierce full art as well. So that's a very good pack to get those two double whammy. It's not too many full art trainers either in this opening. So yeah, come on. Oh, oh, I thought it was a Charizard for a second. I saw a little bit of fire on the top. But we got Rillaboom, Hollow, and then a Center Scorch. I think all the gems are going to be in this last row, guys. Come on. Center Scorch, Hollow Shiny, Full Art Shiny. So not too bad. So two Full Arts back to back. I'm going to keep up with the streak. And no, literally nothing in that one. We did get what the Celebi, but I was a non Hollow. Do love the Celebi. I think I got a reverse version in my collection. Again, another pack with a Celebi, but nothing there. No hits. 
Okay, Grim Snarl in hollow shiny form with the Frost Moth hollow. So we'll put that there. And then code card there for you guys. And then yeah, another hollow shiny, not too bad. Happy if we can get at least hollow shinies. Um, if we even don't get Peter Charizard, I'll be happy with some hollow shinies. Because there'll be a few that I want to double up on, like Sweet Coon, Rillaboom, etc. But Yampa hollow shiny here, not bad again. So we'll take that. So yeah, hopefully you like this video guys. I thought maybe I'll upload this one tomorrow just because it's a nice big opening. It's very recent. Try and mix the recent and uh, old openings together because since we got a big backlog of videos to go through. Uh, but I guess you guys are enjoying it. Daily content, you know where to stay tuned for consistency. Uh, Friday I didn't upload so that's why we're doing two videos today. This one will be uploaded at 12 p.m. And I'll have an older video for 6 p.m. Maybe I'll do Hidden Fate or Galarian Corsola here. So not too bad. We'll take that. Glaring Consola. Come on, two more packs. You reckon Charizard's in here as well? I hope so. Oh, oh, oh so it'll be reversed, but Luxray Hollow, so we'll put that there. And then the final pack, we'll just go straight through it, guys. Uh, but yeah, very, very good opening. And wow, last pack. Nothing there, but no Charizard out of 50. I see people commenting down below. Uh, I open 50 packs, no Charizard. I open 100 packs, no Charizard. You're gonna open a lot. You gotta open a lot more when it comes to Pokemon. 50, 100 packs is really nothing when it comes to Pokemon. I know it's a lot of money, uh, but that's what it is. It is a gamble at the end of the day. But for Shining Fates, look how many hits you get in our 50 packs. You open 50 packs or a booster box of, uh, let's say, Chilling Rain. Uh, maybe two booster boxes, you've got 72 packs. You probably won't even get this many hits. You won't get this many full arts. You won't get this many hollows. The hollows here, there's not even included in the bunch of hollows we got here. So look at all these hits. Loads of full arts, loads of hollow shinies, loads of bangers here. So that's why you got to love the subsets. Don't sleep on them. I've seen people sleep on them. You get Shiny Fates ETBs at like 40 pounds. You can, on total cards even. If you want to use the link in the description, go use it. Use code VIV on total cards. You can buy so much uh, Shining Fates right now at under retail from uh, Total Cards and other retailers in the link in the description. I've got a few retailers that I work with and I'll put the links in the description for those. And uh, even a Total Card is probably the best prices right now. You can get ETBs for like 40 quid. You can get pin collections for 12 quid. Pikachu boxes for like 18 quid. These are the top of my head. They might be cheaper than that actually. So go check them out and then you can use the code VIV for a little bit more discount as well. And yeah, helps the channel out. But I thought I plugged that in. I don't think I've ever plugged total cards of the video. But uh, you guys have been using the link in the description. So it's been really helping and supporting the channel. But guys, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to say happy birthday to Marie in the comments. And I'll show the comments uh, in the evening. So guys, uh, appreciate the support, appreciate the love. And yeah, if you like Shining Fate, subscribe here. We'll have more for you. 100 pack opening going live in a week or two as well. Put that on the channel. But guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.